You're listening to Daily Mana Devotionals. Thanks for stopping by. Great to have you here. If you're new to the channel, welcome, welcome. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and then you can turn on the notification bell if you so choose. If you want to receive a notification or a drop down on your phone or tablet when we post a new devotional video. Some people like having that reminder on their phone or tablet. Other people don't. Totally up to you. If you do, you just hit that little notification bell after you subscribe. Also, if you enjoy the devotion, shh at any point in time you can hit the thumbs up and like the video you can comment down below um, those things help out the YouTube algorithm to spread God's word to more and more people or God's word through me so to speak um, anyway uh, you can also shoot me an email at dailymanamedia at gmail.com if you want to send me something that's like a prayer request that's more personal or something you don't want in the comments just shoot it to me in an email. I got my silly pants here with me today, so, and she's tired again and feeling silly. Do Not Worry is the title of today's devotion. Do Not Worry. I like that. I love devotions that are about worrying. I do tend to worry and overthink everything on earth, so uh, it's good to have these devotions that remind me to let go and let God Scripture, therefore I say to you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat or what you will drink, nor about your body, what you will put on, is not, li is not life more than food and the body more than clothing, Matthew 6, 25. The theme of Jesus' words in Matthew 6, 25 through 34 is sometimes misunderstood. The theme is not, God will provide everything you need according to your timetable. The theme is, do not worry. Why would he exhort us not to worry if there would never be an occasion, a temptation to worry, a time when our needs seemed not to be met? God made similar promises of provision to his covenant people, Israel. But at the same time, he said, for the poor will never cease from the land. How could there be poor in the midst of promises of plenty? Because we live in a fallen world, things happen, crops fail. In such cases, the Israelites were to meet the needs of their poor brethren, just as the church would later do. God's provisions come in many ways. Jesus said, in essence, don't worry, trust in God, seek him, and he will care for you. This devotion comes out of Every Day with Jesus, a devotional by David Jeremiah. I like that. It's a good one. A good reminder not to worry. A good reminder that if you are worrying and you're not understanding what God's doing and you're thinking maybe he's forgotten you or he's not hearing you or he's not paying attention or uh, something's going on and the, the timing isn't right and you're worried, um, try to change your perspective and, and see things a little bit more from his perspective because his timing is perfect. So whatever it is that's going on that you're worried about, it's probably just not time or he has a different path chosen for you or he has something great that's going to come from these ashes it's just it's hard to hard to see what it is that he can see uh, obviously we can't have his full perspective but i'm just saying that that's what i try to do for myself anyway when i go through the difficult times where i'm overthinking and worrying about every little thing um, things that i should definitely leave up to him and i find myself worrying uh, I try to remind myself of those things and to, to just remember that, you know, so many times I've been there in that state of worry and he's seen a way through. Even when I thought there was no way to overcome whatever insurmountable thing there was in my human brain, uh, he's found a way to overcome it and get me through it. So uh, now that I'm older and uh, getting, you know, on the cusp of wiser anyway. Uh, definitely not going to go so far as to say that I'm wise, but getting closer to wise in my years as I get older, I find myself reminding me, uh, reminding myself of, of devotions like this and of things like this and, and all the times that he's gotten me through things that if I had just not spent all that time worrying, I would have been better off because the worrying didn't get me anywhere. It didn't do me any good. It just stressed me out and upset me and uh, probably made me moody and grumpy to people around me and things like that that ultimately I should have just trusted to him so if you're going through times like that just try to turn to him and trust him 
His timing is perfect. It will all work out. Thank you so much for listening. I've blabbed long enough. Uh, I will see you tomorrow. God bless. Bye-bye. Okay.